Hey guys, Josh here. So I wanted to talk about the dangers of Nova from a guy who won Destroyer Deck December. So let me let me just start whittling and level up. Now, here's the thing. For those of you who don't know, a lot of you might know this because this is a fitness fair. But Destroyer Deck December is this contest. On day one, you nut one time. Day two, you nut two times. Three on December third, December fourth, so on. So I made it to day eight, and you're like, "How? How did you win when you made it to day eight? Well, here's the thing: I actually logged, I actually logged a daily routine of what device I was on when I did it, what what I was looking at, and and oh yeah, here's the thing: I literally didn't even um. I only watched actual, you know what, oh shit, I accidentally, I actually clipped my hand on, actually just the handle, so, I'm fine, but, um, here's, here's the thing, I only watched an actual, you know what, actual video one time, and here's the thing, it gradually, like, I guess you're looking the other way, it trended down, right, so, the, um, the intensity, you know, it's like, okay, I was literally like, hey, let's look at some pictures, some video, and then by the end I was just like, getting off to like, literatica. So here's the thing, how do I justify me winning? Well, here's the thing, on day five, there were three people left. Three people had logged all five days. And here's the thing, nobody, nobody... I was only active on the forum for like eight days. Nobody logged any what they were doing. They were just like, oh yeah, I, I did it. Somebody literally came out of the woodwork on day seven and was like, I lost. No, no. People can't say they lost, but somebody came out of the woodwork and was like, I did it. Here's what I did. And then they just put how many times they nutted. But, um, here... Here's the thing, here's the thing with that, um, so, like, when you're, if you're run, if you beat somebody at the Olympics, you're like, hey, look, I, I out, I outlifted this Olympic weightlifter in my, in my home gym, and then you, you had some weird genetics, so like, you're really short, really short, but really stocky, or you have some weird genetics anomaly, but you couldn't, couldn't qualify because you couldn't do it at, get into the events and under perfect conditions or say you're doing like a bench press and you lower it down like one inch like for me on the bench press I cannot um when I, it's like I almost have trouble bringing my arms back like for instance Scott Mendelson <laughs> on his bench technique said yeah it's like if it's less than like 500 pounds he can't with the with the bench suit on, he can't even lower the bar. <laughs> it's like his his force against the the barbell is so strong that he needs weight to lower it. So I'm just saying, certain people have advantages, but it wouldn't cut it in com but wouldn't cu cut in competition. Haven't signed up for a competition. So it's like you have to you have to actually log. Okay, ah, he, you know, what if I just claimed I completed? Destroyer Dank December. Well, I mean, you know, even if, okay, and what if I posted that on Reddit? What if I posted each day? Day day 20 complete, day 21 complete. You know, somebody, you know. But he, here's what I'm getting at. Um, literally, I didn't, like, do it for more than three times a day last year until that month. But then it's like one, one, one day one, day one two day two and that just happened by accident it just happened by accident that i was still in december 3rd and i was like december 3rd three times december 4th four times and i was adapting so maybe put in the comments what what are some other things you can adapt to because besides weightlifting running certain forms of intelligence and suffering <laughs> suffering and and you know spit punching the clown there doesn't seem to be there doesn't seem to be that many things that the human body can adapt yeah you can adjust to a skill
to learn a skill, but I mean, how many things where it's like you just get better automatically? As grip strength. Now let's get into some of the some of the dangers or the cons to your health. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. People say it. You do know not to November, then you do destroy your dank December. So the thing is, the thing is, somebody even commented, if you didn't do November, you shouldn't do December. Well, here's the thing. Okay, somebody hasn't, somebody hasn't punched the clown in a month, and they're somehow going to punch the clown next month four hundred times to make up for it. That's just delusional. But here's the thing. People, uh, no not November was around long before the December thing, and then they came up with all these other months, but like, okay, so, here's the thing, here's the thing, if you stop doing it, you're going to gradually downregulate, right, so like I was adapting, here's the thing, if I was doing it like seven, t seven times a day, I wouldn't adapt, well, okay, I would get used to it, but it's not functionally, okay, seven times isn't really better than three. I'm not going to be, there's a maximum capacity of how much, how much production you have, <laughs> you know. But here's the thing, here's the thing, if you're doing it, like, once every other week, yeah, you're going to downregulate, oh, I'm going to be, I'm saving my mystical life force energy. Or people think, oh, yeah, when you... When you punch the clown, you're losing testosterone. Um, no, here's the thing. You're actually, you're actually probably going to be, um, you're probably going to be slightly more virile. Here's, the thing is, okay, can you, can you pull the Mash Lewis full-time overtime? So there's a song that goes full-time job. This music treated like a full-time job. Treat it, not treat it. Treat it like a full time job. This music treat like a full time job. Um, at the same time, got a full time job. So he's worked. So he's saying, I want to treat my music as a full time job, but at the same time, I have a full time job. And then the other singer, who, the other s singer, which they didn't credit, he didn't get credited in the song title, but he's like, he said, it's dope, and I'm going into overdrive. It's a full-time job, and I'm working overtime. I just got a no notification from my bestie. So, so here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The qualification for an addiction. Addiction isn't actually st strong dependence. Now, I'm not, I'm not uh, offering any sort of medical counseling advice. I'm just throwing out the facts. This is just informative. That, you know, for something to be an addiction, it has to be negative. Like, for instance, I exercise, but I do it in moderation. I do it in moderation. I haven't, I haven't gotten hurt except for doing cardio. And here's the, here's the thing. Um, at certain points, athletes risk that and that's not even a negative qualification you know it's like if i'm making pasta and i spill hot water on myself and i get uh, a really bad first degree burn that's not that's not an addiction to cooking pasta that's just i cook a lot i like cooking i got hurt cooking you know so <laughs> it's like a man Imagine coming into the doctors and being like, yeah, I sprained my groin muscle. Doing what? Yeah, here's the, here's the thing. I, I literally once went to the doctor, and I was feeling down. And I'm like, hey, I had this dream. And they're like, here's this. <laughs> here, here, scribble, scribble, scribble. You know? And the drugs were benign, but, she, you know, it's like, okay. You can admit you have a problem Here's the thing, like, say, for instance, you get in trouble at school or with work and say, yeah, I, was, I thought I'd, maybe just, like, admit you thought, you know, admit what you did was wrong, and, like, yeah, I, 
I figured I'd just get away with being a piece of shit or whatever. Yeah, so, I mean, the thing, the thing is, the thing is, at a, at a certain point, at a certain point, I've been, I've, I've been in situations, you know, like guys in the military where they can't, I wasn't in the military, but, you know, there's certain, situ certain contexts where you just can't do it all the time, and then it kind of downregulates rapidly. So the thing is, you might permanently lose that ability. Now, is it a bad thing? Here's the thing. I would say, the the thing is, that the main the main cons of no no fap is like the main cons of no fap is all the positives. Like after you release, there's just this clarity. Part of it, part of it is this feeling of euphoria. Part of it is like you just. Say you're with somebody and you just walk over to this chicken and you're like, oh, wait. Yeah, this probably was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, having... It's like unprotected. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You just look at it and it's like, wait, I just had I just unprotected screw and pooped with a crazy chick. So, it's like, yeah. Here, Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even... Even like female dating coaches will recommend, yeah, uh, blink one out, <laughs> blink one out before you go and talk to girls, because they'll make you less desperate, less clingy. You know, here's the thing: they they might want you just to talk to them like you're, like they're a not normal human and not like you're a magician or a comedian. And be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. hey man, you know, not trying to like friend them up or jazz them up or figure out what to talk to. They might, they might just want somebody who can hold a normal, con normal conversation. <sighs> Getting an arm pump from this. Yeah, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing, a lot, a lot of, um, criminal activity has been prevented by just bigger, combination of bigger living quarters and access to internet content. So, you might make a bit better argument for it's immoral, but here's the thing, if you watch a thousand videos, that might result in like six cents of revenue, so you're not giving revenue much to that person who's entertaining you. Because at the day, end of the day, the end of the day, porn is low-grade prostitution. It's lo well, not low-grade, but legal. It's legal because if I want, if I want to make love to this woman, it's illegal to pay her. But if I turn on a video camera, I can say that's her salary for the video. Right? So... Although a lot of it, a lot of it is just like couples, <laughs> actual couples, but you know, it's like if you see the same person every video, because they make your, because they do your niche, then yeah, they're probably a performer, probably actually part of a studio. But I don't want to, here's, here's the thing, I want to touch on another thing, there's basically like three levels of nofap. So it's like, um, it's like, don't watch prawn, don't punch the clown, and then don't, um, don't consummate at all. But the thing is, like, okay, I made the point of if you're, if you're not doing anything, and then this hot chick just shows up out of your house, out of the blue, and be like, yeah, man, your brother brought up, blah, 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 you know, <laughs> Your brother paid me to come here, or your ex just shows up, or whatever. Your ex shows up in the, out of the blue and starts chatting you up. Yeah, um, you might reverse that. I'm like, I mean, the point on this Discord, and now every fitness Discord has to have, like, a, a no fab channel. <laughs>
every it's just kind of irritating because it's like hey maybe we want to talk about maybe we want to be about lifting and cardio maybe like maybe like hygiene but more so lifting and cardio and you know maybe self-improvement and not and here's the thing this is a part of american culture there might be no con to this except for you're gonna waste you're gonna waste an opportunity say for every four hours when you're up or not four hours say every say every day you have three opportunities well you might waste you might waste those opportunities say you know the average guy who's under say 30 can do it about three times a day and you might get away with doing it about three times a day maybe before work after work right before you're about to go to sleep you might just waste an opportunity of here's something that you can enjoy i mean <laughs> here's the thing i mean watching tv is probably worse for you of i'm gonna watch this i don't want to watch this fantasy of and then in like every movie these villains are supposed to be so evil but then the bad guys can just like destroy like 40 of the 40 of the bad guys and it's like okay i can't believe um like for instance the original star wars series where all the rebels get killed in the first one and by the end of the one they're getting defeated by the stormtroopers are getting defeated by ewoks and even in the middle it was like han solo just like walks up to this giant platoon of stormtroopers and they're like 